Hello, Monsters of Anakin, welcome back to Total Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 5? 4? 4? 4, it's 4. It's part 4 of my Altharian campaign. I knew it was in the single stitch. Anyway, the point is that uh, we've, we've, uh, we sent Altharian back home to Tori of Resi because basically the, the Badlands sucked. Um, it, there was sand, got everywhere. I killed the women and children too. And so we've we've come back home to to lovely Ulthwan, except there's a little bit of strife here because there's some Dark Elves on the Shrine of Asurian, which we need to deal with. Also, we keep getting attacked by bloody pirates. What to do? What to do? I don't know. I mean, we could... We could sail down there and take them out. It's not... A, it's not the easiest thing to do, but we can't. I'd rather just peace out with them and just be like, look, guys, you know, you've had your fun. Um, I've been killing everything that comes over the sea towards me. Thanks. Um, could we not just, you know, chill the fuck out, maybe? But they don't seem to want to chill the fuck out. They just seem to want to um, throw themselves at me. In fact... Oh, I can't see what they're up to. Uh, I'm going to assume they're probably on their way. Yeah, Mr. Eltharian, happy, happy chat. I know my destination. Yeah, well, I literally told you where to go, so I would hope you bloody did. Mr. Gods. Right, um, so we've got skill points. Cavill, what are we going to put with you? Um, I'm going to go, you know what, Blade Shield, because I want you to be a tanky boy. Guarantee that these guys are probably on their way. Morkheim. Huh. What is it? Hello. Defend I'm going to say no to that, because I, I think you guys are busy killing each other so I'm just I'm just gonna let you you know do your thing you if you want to kill each other you kill each other guys you you do you hello oh shit no oh, balls however they are marching caracazel's fallen we've got cartridge ammunition blah 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 right what could we do Be the worst idea. That would that would use all of our money and our upkeep. However, we could then use them in the battle, recover the cost, and then get rid of them. And they are very, very strong. What do we think? Should we get the Knights of Torgaval? Yes, it, it's a ballsy move, I grant you. It is a ballsy move. But, you know, these guys have come out of the little hidey holes to say hello, and I feel like we need to say hello right back in their face. So, let's do that. I guess I don't have anything better to do. I wish they did have something better to do. It's a lot of spears, but um, this is my Tilia campaign. I've had a bit of a, a bit of fear of spears. So let's burn them! No, Kane, take you. Yes! Exploding into jam! Just at the sight of a fire. Look at that. Ooh, that's a nice fire. And then pop. Off they go. Right, well, that was 75 kills. Not bad. Not bad at all. And the Knights of Torgaval, of course, a unit of four Hi griffin? Hippogriffs? Is it hippogriffs? I think it's hippogriffs. Hippogriff? Are you a hippogriff? Or a gri I can't remember. Doesn't matter anyway. They've also got reinforcements uh, coming in the trees. Coming in from the trees, I say. If they're coming in the trees, that's a different issue. Uh, we're moving our army because they seem to be moving their spears over to rejoin their reinforcements. So we're going to try and take the high ground here. Unfortunately, it looks like a couple of units of spears are actually breaking off to try and stop that. So 
So we're going to have to move to engage. Alfarion and Cavill moving in to engage the enemy spears. Meanwhile, the Knights of Torquaval. Come on. There you go. Right, Knights of Torquaval then charging down and, yep, liquidizing huge numbers of the Dread Spears, routing them almost immediately. Cavill getting the attention of that other unit. They try and come in to attack the back, but we uh, slip away and uh, they're, they're busy dealing with Altharion and Cavill, and the Knights can uh, retreat out of there. I mean, their charge bonus is okay. They, they, they do well in. Prolonged combat. That's the word I was looking for. But um, they don't necessarily need to be stuck in combat. It's probably better to like charge into the rear, break a unit, and then run away again. We're trying to take out the Manticore. Looks like it's uh, beating up Anastasia. Never mind. And over here, the enemy generals run into our spearmen. And obviously, being on a horse, that's probably a bad idea. Although, obviously, being a character, she'll do okay there. The Kassos are luring some spears away. We're moving over the rangers to support them. I might use the knights of torch. So basically, we've got like a, 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 little, a little trio here. We've got the rangers, the knights, and the Kassos. And they're going to try and deal with spear units. And in fact, multiple spear units now seem to be moving over to try and deal with this little flanking force. That manticore is pulling away. And we're moving Altharion and Cavill to deal with the enemy general. So we don't want the spears to hit the Kattos. We want them to engage the rangers. Because if they engage the rangers, then they'll turn their back to the Kattos. The enemy is charging. Yes, we are. So they're going to turn around to meet the charge. Which is exactly what we want. Because then the Kattos can come tearing across the, the terrain right into their back. Youch! And then the knights come in as well. So there's several units of spears now moving in this area. So we're going to try and use those trio of units to deal with them. The enemy general is being attacked by the magical turkey. Magical turkey is actually quite nasty. It's not it's not that great against characters, but it's enough to like keep them busy for a while. And uh, we're going to heal up with apotheosis. What else do you do? What's, what's your other thing you do? Hang on. Hang on. Nope. Nope. That's all. Okay. Nope. Nope. Th nope. 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 There. Uh, plus 10% magic resistance. Okay, it's also got 20% and 10% ward save. And oh, the enemy general is is dead. I think I think we managed to ca capture her, but again, her head fell off. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you know, heads probably quite fragile. Not sure. Rangers engaging yet more dread spears. Uh, several units now moving up to engage, and it looks like the Katos are being chased by some dread spears. But that's why we've got three units here, because if they're chasing the Katos, that means the Knights of Torgaval can then rear charge them from the skies. Ooh, nasty. And that unit's already broken. Just one left to deal with. Big charge on our right flank. The Lamb of Spear there, taking out some of those Sisters of Slaughter. And then we're going to drop the Vortices. The Lightning one there, and then a Flamey one. But our Spearmen now dealing with the brunt of the Dark Elf charge, and these ladies here are very nasty. And our spears, I mean, the only thing the, the Sisters of Slaughter aren't good at is dealing with um, armoured units. And the spearmen are not armoured units. So, a little bit of an issue there, but fortunately we do have support on the way. Altharion and Cavill are moving in to engage. And we've also got our lovely Anastasia, Miss Steel there, who is going to amber spear the shit out of those Sisters of Slaughter. Doing a big old furrow in them. Very nice. Dealing with some spears over on that flank. Of course, our archers constantly picking off Dark Elves wherever they can spot them, especially those chariots, which could be quite nasty. Our little trio of units is continuing to hunt down spears in the trees, and they're sending more and more units to try and pin them down. Of course, all of these guys are exhausted, which means their stats are significantly worse. So it should be said that the rangers are now very tired themselves. Uh, so we are kind of equal, but 
you know, our units are a lot better than spears, so we should be okay. We've managed to break the system of slaughter. They're now fleeing away, and of course, that's where they don't want to be, because that's where they get a lot of ar um, arrows embedded in their back. A bit more electricity coming in to knock out those dark shards. Looks like there's lots of routing units here, and of course, as long as they are not engaged in melee combat with us, we're going to be doing a lot of ranged damage to those units. See the sheer weight of arrows coming out. They're just taking out... I mean, those witch elves charging across the open ground towards us. It's a bad idea. Yeah, they're now running away. Don't blame them. Looks like a big rout is about to occur. And there we go. Army losses taking effect just as the Katos hit the rear of this large blob of Dread Spears. They're also terrified. The Knights of Torqueval coming in as well. It's going to be an absolute slaughter. Uh, this little trio of units did rather well taking out all of those spear units by themselves. Allowed our main force to deal with the reinforcements and deal with them they did. Oh, a satisfying win, that's... And we've made some good cash. I mean, I'd like more. But I don't think I can do without the replenishment. So let's just take the experience. And of course, you guys are dead because you are marching. Oh, we good. Did that one. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, I guess recruit rank? I'm not that super into it. This... Enveloping mist. Hmm. More influence, construction cost, and public order. But it's 2k. And I kind of want to keep my... My boys. I'm wondering if we can push no forward God. into... I am the heir of Anarium, and I bid you Will you join our war against the Cult of Excess? How the f... Oh, right, because you've got the Shrine of Assyrian. That's why. Serve the Do we just push forward? I know they might have an army heading this way, but... Once you die, your body shall be another. Do, because otherwise that, that could be a big problem Hesitation for us. So, you know what, let's... Let's just... Full speed, yep, book it. Book it over it. We need to deal with this... This issue. ASAP. As much as I would like to... I mean, we've got defense. We've got defense at the Shrine of Loic. So that's fairly tanky. Uh, I can... What's that going to do? Murderous Mastery. I think I'm just going to... I, I don't think a doctrine... I don't think the, the steal 5% of the character doesn't actually do anything. So I may as well go for the execute because that gives me more influence, which is better. It's better. An Just is. To victory. Indeed. Uh, let's go for apotheosis because I feel like it. And I want to try and see if we can take the Shrine of Assyrian. Because if we can take that, we can make all the elves love us. And also that will stop all the civil war bollocks. Thank you. Uh, only the entirety of two provinces, and I get the Helm of Yavresi. Okay, you've only got one army, so we can go in there. We will encircle. And we'll bring you in as well. Taking a little bit of damage there, but overall, I think we should be able to take them. They will have Black Guard, though. It says decisive victory. I'm, can I, should I just this alter us? I'm just going to alter us. And then we'll I occupy. And those guys are dead. No Got a grove. I don't want a grove. The colonnade might be useful, but the most important the building we can get ours. here is the Sacred Flame of Assyrian, which is going to give us more public order. It's also going to... Does it not? Maybe it does. I know if the Dark Elves hold it, it gives, like, 
more relations with high elves, but I guess it doesn't make do that for us. Oh well. I mean, it's still nice. You know, I'll still take it. Prince Elthari. I'll still have it, and also it stopped the issues. The big, big issues. Uh, Tempest is bad. Soul Quench is just awful. I never... Right, so... This affects one unit. It would give reload skill, but I I'm not that invested. I mean, Fiery Convocation is nice. Let's get that, I guess. Brook, no failure. Let's just just do that one. Give you a blade shield. All right. Okay. Has this stopped the? Wait. What? Are we at war with the? Why? Well, what? 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 Hey. Eh? You cannot hide your heart from me. Why? Are you... What? Can can we not? Can we not, Al Alario? Can we, can we not be chill here, love? Please. Archmage. Poet's disciple. Okay. Apparently, we're not chill. Um. So. triumph was foreseen. So. Uh. It looks like these guys are doing very well. The, the scourge of Cain are doing very well for themselves. What effects have we got? Warden's cage. That. 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 Okay. No sign of the vampire pirate coast yet. Yet being the operative word. Ah, there's a lot now. She's talking. She's taken poor Elastor. I wonder if I can, like, just take all this stuff. It does mean leaving Yvresi undefended, which is a little bit of a problem. But if she's not going to peace out with us, we're going to have to beat up Alariel. Ah, Safri. I will Our accept refugees. Rose, my lord. Yeah, back in your box, you creepy old bastard. So. I will hear your words, but I make no promises of aid. Okay, look. Ever look. Queen of Alfwan. Look, it's in. Look, I I didn't declare war on you. Just FYI. Existence hangs in the ship a bit. It. Okay, look. I I think we got off on the wrong foot. My life for Tor Ibris. Rest. Weary feet. It's just ah uh, crap. No, I'm surrounded by fools. No rest, no weakness. Okay, well, if we lose a shrine of Assyrian, not the end of the world. Let's just knock everything down. As long as the cult of excess don't Never have it, fought. maybe we can. This is absurd. If you Look. wish to see dawn, leave now. What about if I just give you all my money? Would that be enough? That would be moderate. I don't really want to give you all my money. How about less money? How about even less money? How about less money? Less money. It is forbidden. Okay, well maybe you have a liar's heart. Oh wait, today. no, I can hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got I've got this bullshit, haven't I? Uh that one. Right, Yvresi, Avalon. So that will to the court of the Ever Queen. Okay. That might do it. That might be enough. We'll see how it goes. And keep an eye on it. Now, you fire. can't now if you march, you can reach Alessali. But otherwise, you're gonna struggle. Um Why am I losing so much more money now? Duty is purpose. I wasn't losing that much money, was I? Was I? That is forbidden. Was I? I will consider any suggestion that aids tour. Is it be friends? It is be friends, but I don't want to. I don't. I. I. I look, I think. I know Ilario is a bit being a bit murderous. She just might be having a bad day. Everyone has a bad day. 
A strange incident. Okay, a Norskin's attack on Ulf one. Oh, fucking lovely. Yep, talk of the devils. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Uh, is that within range? Maybe. Can't be done. Master of magic. Okay, you march in there. Altharian, you just stand there, and then if they attack this, they're gonna be having some issues. Oh, money's better again. Good. Let's get the harbour there as well, and obviously this. That might be enough to actually make us break even and we can keep our big flying turkey monsters hooray for big flying turkey monsters now if we can that he's, he's yeah i'm not surprised to be honest i'm not surprised i'm not surprised he decided to leave and go somewhere else i mean one we've got defenses there question is, where is he buggered off to? Trained by the White Tower. Okay, you stay there. We're going to try and make friends. Uh, shall we do that again? Okay. Welcome to the court of the Ever Queen. It's going up to 17, we should then be able to peace out with her, and then we won't have to fight her, and that will be double plus good. Seek out enemies. Okay, let's head for Alessil just in case they decide to attack it. I don't think they will, but uh, let's get defenses there and an estate. Obviously, having the the sculptor's workshop is quite nice because it means a reduction for the cost of all our buildings. And with any luck, uh, once we start getting some of these these nice buildings with the upkeep, um, sorry, with with more money. Um, especially things like this, the Elven Fairground, because that produces trinkets, which we can then sell as trade goods, and they're quite an expensive trade good, I think. I believe. Um, yeah, 18. So the same as gold. So it's effectively like producing your old own gold in trade good. Fire. I mean, you know, trade is a bit weird in Total War games. It's never really got the... My life. The focus, I think, it really needs. Uh, but it's there. And it gives you more money, so that's good. I mean, currently we're making almost a K from trade, which is quite nice. We could make more if we, you know. Who speak the truth are always welcome here. This cannot happen. Eh, can it not? I'm just thinking that maybe it should. I'm just throwing it out of there. I'm just look, look, Alario. I, I, I just think we should be friends. I think it could happen. I wonder if you'll peace out with me. From your no. In coming here today. <sighs> Can you just bugger off? Leave me alone. Welcome to the court of oh. the time is Yeah. Ready. Nice. Going up to 46. Perfect. Trade agreement? Not aggression pact? Serving the gods. Sweet. Okay. I mean, if you killed the other elves, that's a minor issue for me. Duty is purpose. Are you retaking stuff? It looks like... I mean, it did look like the, the Scourge of Cain had the upper hand, but it looks like they're falling back now. Is, oh, hello. Not the spine. Is it not? The Grim Prince. Sail forth. Let's go here. We can't get the ambush. Of magic. Tell you what, you come magic here and you sail over there. You sail Sign down here. Arthur Nuts. Arthur. I think... <sighs> the constant attacks on the Dreadfleet are annoying. I think we might have to kill them. Because otherwise... No glory. You're just out of glory range, aren't you? You little monkey. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Master okay, we are we're making money. Holy shits. We're actually making income. Look at this. Pretty legit. 
Do not greet me as a friend. Non-aggression? Trade agreement? Yeah. Alright, what about a non-aggression pact? Then later on you'll give me a trade agreement because you like me more, you stupid bastard. Who the fuck are Tilia Rebels? Oh. Oh. I see. Uh, is there anyone else who likes me who would trade with me? Let's see. Anyone? Anyone? No evil do those seeking my counsel usually mean it is done. Okay, you should be able to trade with me later. I don't know who you are. That's fine. Nope. Stuff you then. Okay, so we should, you know, relationships should increase there. Then we can trade with those guys as well. And once this is high rank, we can knock down the uh, growth buildings, the estates, and then we can get more of the uh, Elven Fairgrounds. I think it's what we need to do. But I think I think objective one is going to be taking out Dreadfleet because they're being quite the pain in the ass, aren't they? Beastman Horde Swarm Clar Clorond. It's a shame, isn't it? I mean, for them. Okay, you get to be Blade Shield, so you have 70-70. That's nice. Uh, is there anything else you can have? I don't think so. Never mind. And that army has sailed close enough that I think we should be able to hit it. So if I do this... Oh, you're actually going to fight. I thought you'd run away, but... Nope, you're going to fight. All right. Something's going to have to be done about the Dread Fleet. I'm starting to get on my tits now. I was going to throw my flying units in against the the fell bats and wipe them out, but I'm a little bit worried about the hand cannons and also maybe the, the, the bombs as well. I don't know how much damage the bombs are going to do to us. But then I realised that the Arcane Phoenix is actually 70% fire resistance and these guys do fire damage. So actually, they will do very little damage to the Arcane Phoenix. In fact, if they want to waste some ammunition against the Arcane Phoenix, be my fucking guest. As it is, though, it looks like they have a little meeting, or orgy, or something, and then they decide not to bother. So they're just going to mill about there for a bit and not do anything. We have bats flying around on our flank, and through the trees, we have several units of uh, hand, uh, hand cannons, bombs, and deckhand mob. The centre should be fine. We we can probably easily deal with the bombs as they advance on us. That should be no problem. Hand cannons slightly longer range than the bombs, but still, we should be able to deal with those no problem. Dealing with fell bats on the flank there with our flying units. Stop them from getting in amongst our ranged... Especially the, especially the squishy ranged units, the archers. I want to get rid of the archers, but I have no money at the moment, so... You know, maybe not. Maybe we'll just wait. Altharian moving in to engage the bombers and pull some of their fire away. The hand cannons being wiped out over there, but there's still a number of hand cannons on our right flank over here. And yet the, the Silver and Guard take a big, big blast. It's quite nasty. Lots of bombs coming in to take, take Cavill out, but uh, he should be fine. The last few Felbats going down, and the Knights dealing with the deck hand mob on this flank. They'd probably be better over here, but, you know, they're doing fine. In the trees, Altharian is... Knocking out a unit of bombers and looks like the fell bats coming in to help. But the Katos charging in and knocking out a unit of hand cannons before they can get any shots off. But they now need support, seeing as we do have this deck hand mob advancing on them. So we have rangers coming in on the flank over here. We also have the faith bearers who are shield and sword infantry also now moving in. A little bit of engagement in the forest. However, our units are significantly better than theirs, which means this should be a very one-sided fight. Looks good. Meanwhile, the rest of the battlefield... Just really finishing off what's left. Last few units being dealt with. Some fell bats still flapping around, but they're no real threat. Cavill taking some bombs to the face, but that's what he does. And yeah, 
now the archers have they're basically taking out one unit at a time and they've now spotted this unit which means these guys are going down the hand cannons also getting torn to shreds there and then finally army loss is taking effect and of course we can we can cage the vampire fleet admiral before the entire army crumbles and he'll be imprisoned despite the fact that he you know disintegrated but that works too Well, I really feel like they should just probably stop they will fund sending guys because they don't Prince seem to be doing very well. You know, I, I just feel like they should just stop. I, will profit from your stupidity in coming here today. I mean, will you though? Hi, Elvin Archmage. Really? Will you? What's our growth? Right, we've got two. We need four. We've got uh, one. Two, okay, that. I mean, it seems to be going okay. We've got. We've got plenty. Let's just do spearmen or archers in light armor. I mean, it's not setting me alight. I'll be honest. Sentinels of Astaril. Those guys are they better? These guys cost slightly more. I don't think that's an upgrade. Uh, you can be upgraded to Silver and Guards, which would be better, because Silver and Guards are just tankier. How much do they cost? 244 four compared to 1. Right, so it's like 100 more, and I'm going to be honest, don't think I can afford that. My plan is rough. Don't think I can afford it. Although, what the fuck is Moose? Your was, foretold. was it? Okay, well, she's there as well. It looks like the Shrine of Cain is getting their ass kicked. Uh, there's Norskins everywhere, but I think... I think... I think... Those who speak the truth are always welcome. Yeah, all the elves are friends again. Lovely. Serving the gods. So we can be friends, and that is Ready. good. You're cranky. Is patient when listening and fair. No. You, you started with fair, and then. Who seeks my wise uh, is it Astalia who kind of like me more? You like me. You don't have a thing. You kind of like me. You don't want to. Yes. What about you? Greetings, stranger. No. <sighs> These guys. Like, trade is... The most gifted. Trade is not a bad thing. At all. Whatsoever. Got some of my presents. Should really execute them. Never mind. We'll get around to that. I just find it, like, bonkers. Like, the AI... Even if it's, it's neutral, won't accept trade. Despite the fact that trade is good for both of you. There's no reason to not accept it. Unless they want to declare war on you. And they won't, so... So there, the top knots are dead. These guys are back by the looks of it. There's a little bit of plague there. Uh, looks like the orcs might be in ascendance. In a, yes. Yeah, in ascendance. <sighs> right. No failure. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go down the Galleon's Graveyard and kill everyone. Master of magic. Which is kind of annoying, because I don't really want to. Never falter. But it looks like we don't have a choice. So you can be executed. Them to live. No, good. Ha Halls of Eldrazor. Is going to give us more melee attack and defense, which is good. It's unit capacity, it's plus three recruitment, 200 experience. What's this do? That's what it's Mist of Yavresi. Okay, uh, this gives two influence per turn. Ooh. I mean, influence is just. Must stand proud. Yes, I mean, it's, it, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Don't worry. Remain vigilant. I do. Or I try to, anyway. Right. Uh, we want to give him Stormwing at level 14. That's a little ways off, though. I am getting... You know what? I'm tempted to do this. Do I do this? I did, I did it. I did do it. I wasn't sure I would, but look at that. It happened. 
I probably I probably should just stick with one army, but I just I like Anastasia so much I don't want to get rid of her. I mean to be honest, I could probably get a better one. One with an untwistable stomach. But you know, she's got it's, I've, I'm, I've got emotional attachment there now. Oh no, Vashnar's conquest. Where the fuck are they? As long as they're not anywhere near me, that's fine. No glory. Uh, taking attrition. What from? Deep waters. Yeah. Okay. High elven archmage. Okay. Bro, if you come, your... can we Bro, reach pies. this? Yes, we can. Honor Do it. Head. Do it. Shaper of fates. The warden You'll take attrition, but we can encamp. And then we can bring Anastasia over. And then we can launch an attack on Galleon's graveyard. Especially if they're recruiting a un armies outside of it. We can lay siege to it and then attack the army outside. I mean, it's it's not ideal, but attacking Galleon's graveyard is always a ball ache. So we're just going to have to... Just going to have to live with it. Hello, Defensive Alliance. I am going to take that. Yes, let's be friends. I do like having big, powerful friends. Also, I should probably fix up the Shrine of Assyrian. Because, you know, I've got that now. Knowledge is power. Uh, right, Smith. So Cavalry has proven themselves to be one of Fioresi's finest warriors, and it can now be induced in... Oh. So... Mistwalker Sentinel. Public order, physical resistance, melee defense, quite nice. Watcher, campaign movement range, speed. That's not for the Lord's army, though. Uh, the shadow. Winds of magic power reserve would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to go to shadow. Right. You in camp, you'll be fine. By the white tower. Seek land. You land here. That is not warranted. It is. Oh, it is. Let's give you Shem's burning gaze. Right. So replenishing here. Public order here is going down, but you're fine. We can untax you. get you uh that does that give us what it doesn't give us walls but it does give us three units of phoenix garden of flames by phoenix which is you know pretty good and then we can get a plaza something like that right and then we can lay siege hit that army wipe it out hit galleon's graveguard burn it to an burn it to a crisp right we don't want it it's horrible it's it's oh it's wet it's moist Everything's dripping. Ugh, horrible. Slimy. Ugh, ugh, no, don't want it. Um, so we'll we'll just torch it, and then we'll just meander off back to house, back to our house, back to home, and then we'll be fine. No more bloody pirates attacking us all the fucking time. Magic in purest form. So what we'll do no is Only lay siege Take here. Their heads. I mean, we won't do that. We encircle. The water. Weaver of spells. And then we attack you. Annihilate them. Carried by magic. Then we encamp. So we've now have now they might Not the come possible. back and attack us. Leave none alive. Uh, do we it's Scholar Supreme. Ready yourselves? Okay. I think we're going to have to kill him. Magic's unleashed. You can still attack from there, can't you? You absolute bastard. Strike them down. Okay. No Break siege. Joy is what. Anastasia, True lay siege. Magic. Fall to my power. Altharian, attack. Remove this threat. Exactly. We need to remove this threat, and we're going to have to do it nice and cleanly as well. 
So we need to kill these guys, and then we need to hit Galleon's Graveyard at the same time. But Galleon's Graveyard will have a garrison, but it won't have these guys. And together, I think Anastasia and Altharian should be able to take the garrison at Galleon's Graveyard. We can raise it, and then no more constant bloody attacks on our coastline, and we can actually concentrate on doing something else for a change. But that is going to have to wait till next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.